This is the second video in our short series on configuring the Patch My PC SCUP catalog. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure your subscription so you can import all the updates from our SCUP catalog. The first thing you want to do is open up your SCUP 2011 console and go to the catalogs workspace. From there, we're going to click add. You should receive a URL that contains the link to your CAD file for your subscription. This should get to you within 24 hours of purchasing the catalog. I'm going to configure a demo catalog that we're using for this demo. For the publisher, we can simply name it Patch My PC LLC. For the name, I'm just going to call it Patch My PC SCUP Catalog. For the description, I'll name it the same. And then for the support URL, this is optional. You can add that if you'd like. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. So once you've added this as a catalog, all we have to do then is import the updates. So if you go to the updates workspace, we can simply click import and then select the catalog and then we'll choose next here and then next here. Since this is a catalog that I'm going to import often as we update it, I'm just going to always trust the certificate that we use to sign our CAD file. So that import is now complete. You can see that we imported 178 updates. These are all the updates included in our catalog. So we'll see the list of vendors over on the left. We can drill into vendors and then see the products for those vendors. We can see all the different products listed here. We can review all the software updates from the All Software Updates node. And one of the big things that we need to do is keep up with all the catalogs that we release. Because once catalogs get updated on our servers and we release new updates, typically it's every one to two days, you're going to have to come here and re-import the catalog. Now there's a few ways we can stay in touch to know when catalogs get updated. The first one is you can subscribe to an RSS feed that's on our website. That link can be accessed from our SCUP catalog, release history, and then the RSS node. We also have a newsletter. This is going to allow you to receive an email. You can simply enter your contact information if you want to receive an email when the catalog is updated on our servers. And that email is going to look something like this. So you receive a nice link that tells you what updates were added in the latest release. And it will also contain information to uh, the release notes for, for the website. We also classify whether it's a critical or security or bug fix. So we can see the different options here and what release type it was for the update. So this could also help you determine whether or not you would like to publish any of these updates. So what I've done is I've uploaded a newer CAD file on our web server to simulate what it would look like if you had an updated catalog and you wanted to import those new updates and publish them. So what you would do is you would typically receive an email if you subscribed or you could monitor the RSS feed to let you know that a catalog update was released. Then when you open your SCUP console you should get automatically notified to let you know that the files changed on the server and that your catalog locally is not the latest. Then all we have to do is simply cl click import. And this will overwrite all the updates that have changed. So for example, it will, it will expire any updates that were previously active if they were replaced by a new update. And that concludes our video on configuring your subscription and then importing the catalog once it's changed on our server side.